it's uh, 5 uh, 17 p.m. I'll call this City Planning Commission meeting to order. Uh, in attendance, we have uh, Commissioners Olson, uh, Barons, Waller, and Mayor Brian Smith. So we do have a quorum. We do, uh, Dan Aguski and uh, Henry Dolliker and Angela Lesage. Excused absences tonight. And we also have Jared Givelaw with us, Community and Economic Development Director, and Aaron Jensen, our City Administrator. That's for the crowd to know who everybody <laughs> here. So you have an agenda in front of you. Uh, we would need a motion to approve that agenda. Move to approve. Second. Motion by. Eric, second by Jake, that we uh, approve the agenda. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Against, say no. Motion carried. August 7th, we didn't have a meeting, remember, in September, because uh, somebody was probably getting interviewed at that time. Uh, so, <laughs> so we're, uh, we got a, we just have to look at approving the August 7th uh, minutes of the meeting. Uh, so if you don't see any changes there, we would need a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. Second by, or motion by Eric, second by Jake, that we approve the uh, minutes. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Again, say no. <laughs> motion carried. Okay, under action items, we have uh, a resolution. Eric, you want to yes, explain? I am happy to. Thank you very much, Mayor. Uh, this resolution starts on page four of your packets. Uh, it's accompanied by a few other materials, uh, a map showing uh, where it is on page six, um, a bigger overview map on page seven, um, the zoning change application, um, and just uh, that's it, I guess. But So to explain a little bit of the process, um, a zoning change application request or zoning change request was submitted to the city uh, for the three parcels uh, that are just to the south of the County Highway A and Highway 10 interchange uh, that can be seen on page six. Uh, as a part of the zoning change, it is requesting to go to industrial. Uh, however, uh, our future land use map, which we have to have compliant with whatever request is granted, uh, does not match that request. So with that request coming in and it not matching our comprehensive land use map, we do have to spark the conversation of do we want to see this changed? Is this something that makes sense to change? Um, so staff started the discussion internally. Um, we were actually approached by this individual before the zoning change request was submitted. Uh, we started looking into it. There's a lot of variables. There's a lot of questions um, with switching the comprehensive land use map in this area to industrial. Uh, and there's just a lot of implications we're not quite sure of. Um, you know, obviously by switching the comprehensive land use map, a zoning change becomes uh, quite a bit easier. Um, and that brings the potential to have maybe some unwanted land uses in this area that is very visible from Highway 10. You know, not the intent. Um, I know in staff discussions, things we brought here, um, it may make sense to move this to industrial um, or you know, maybe it would make sense to leave the front part commercial, maybe to have mixed zoning. There's just a lot up in the air um, on if this makes complete sense or not, um, and it's a very permanent change. So upon our discussion, uh, internally, uh, staff, the mayor, um, it was our recommendation uh, for this resolution that's being brought forward, and it's kind of the start of the process for a comprehensive land use change, um, would be to table it. We as staff do not feel we are ready um, to offer a yes or no recommendation on this yet. Uh, we've engaged third party sources, um, experts um, in the industrial field uh, to help us determine if this makes sense, if this is the right area, uh, if this is the, the way we wanna move forward based on market trends and what we're going to see in the next 10 to 15 years. So. With that information, our recommendation is to table it at this time 
until staff can bring forward additional information um, to better make a determination for yes or no uh, on proceeding with this. So I'm happy to take any questions. Of course, we've talked a lot behind the scenes. Uh, many of you have not. Um, so we're happy to answer any questions. Um, otherwise, of course, uh, if it is decided to table, uh, we will bring this forward at a later date or this will be brought forward at a later date uh, with that additional information. Uh, one of those experts that we've been talking with uh, may actually be bring a presentation, talk more mm -hmm. about what they would look into, what they would do, um, and offer more information that way. Um, of course, uh, if you would not like our recommendation, um, you obviously have the option to approve it or deny it. So I will open it up to any questions. Okay, so what uh, Jared is recommending is, is that we table this, and since it is an action item, uh, if you're okay with tabling that, then we would need a motion to table it uh, with uh, no time frame, really, when that's going to come back. Anybody have any questions? No, I would make that motion to table this with no time frame. Yep. We have a motion by Eric. Second. Second by Jake. Uh, to table uh, the approval of resolution number 1560. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Again, say no. Motion carried. All right, we're down to reports and development update. Yeah. Uh, reports start on page nine of your packets. Uh, the first one is, uh, and actually there might be a few. Um, yeah, so th there's going to be a few just because we, we did not have that last meeting. Um, so the first one that you see on page nine uh, is... Um, building permits issued between 731 and 831. Um, pretty standard coming in, accessory structure, commercial alterations. Um, some commercial news that we have talked about that have finally been um, issued, so like the uh, Division Street Apartments, the old St. Mary Church, uh, they finally got their state approved plans, were able to get the permits through us, so you see that in here. Um, Standard electrical, fire protection, uh, mechanical. Um, quite a few new homes um, in this report, uh, many of them being manufactured homes in the Oak Manor trailer park. Um, the uh, ownership over there has changed, and the new management is really trying to fill any of the empty spaces, uh, get rid of any of the um, you know, outdated homes. Uh, I believe they've added concrete driveways to many of them, so they're really trying to uh, improve that park, which is great for the community as it offers a uh, wonderful starter housing, um, you know, <coughs> transplant housing option, um, you know, for those maybe in the, the lower income brackets that are, are just more frugal. Um, one, one quick note, which I thought was interesting. Uh, the manager of that park had made a note how they own parks nationally and there are a few people that will have multiple mobile homes so one up here for summer and then one down in Arizona for winter and that's how they kind of snowbird so I thought that was kind of cool um, but total side note um, next permit report is um, zoning permits issued from 731 to 831 um, certified survey map changes of use um, there's a new business out uh, by courtside uh, looking to sell uh, golf carts, trailers. Um, and then there was a new uh, short-term rental Airbnb added uh, to the city. Um, other noteworthy site plan reviews, um, a new hangar was constructed at the airport, um, which is great to see. Um, other than that, uh, that's pretty much it for that. Um, and then 9.1 to 924, starting on page 14, building permits. Um, any of note? Let me just scroll through here. Mm -hmm. 
not any really to note in there. Um, and then the site plan permits issued from 9-1 to 9-24. Um, change of use. Um, so court side was actually taken over by new ownership. It is now MC's Bar and Grill. Um, so nice to see that continuing on. Uh, but other than that, uh, really just decks, sheds, the standard. So have you take any other questions? I guess one uh, one big update, which I think we, I don't think maybe we mentioned it, but we did receive notice from the Mexican restaurant that they hope to open by the end of October. Their original plan was end of November, but Aaron has tried to persuade them to be open for Halloween on Maine. Um, so we'll see if his charms work or or not. But uh, hopefully by the, for sure, the end of November, they are open. Have you been in there yet? Uh, a couple weeks ago, I was in there. Is it ready? A couple weeks ago, it was not ready. <laughs> yeah, I've been in there and said, well, well, we were in there with Jane and Jared. That's the last time I was in there. Yeah, yeah, they, they have some work to do, but it looks good. I yeah, mean, they're I mean, good what progress. Yeah, what they're doing looks really nice, but it's, I think it's a filler project for them, to be honest. As long as they get the time and, and the money. Yeah. I got a question. Yeah. When a gas station uh, changes hands, do, does the city have anything to do with that? Not really. Uh, are you talking about the Marathon? Yeah. Yeah, so Marathon, uh, their sister company is the 76. 76s? Phillips, Phillips 76. 76. It's kind of the Phillips big orange 66. ball. Oh, yeah, that's what it's. They said it's Phillips. They said 76. That, the so renderings he had showed me said 76. Well, maybe I 76 is a union in 76, whatever that used to be called. Yeah. Because yeah. I asked the guy at the gas station, he said uh, Phillips, I thought he said that 66. Yeah, I'd have to look. I know they, the sign, a sign company came in and had asked some questions and about changing copy, changing that sign, et cetera. But um, really, we don't have much. Because doesn't we, the liquor license have to change then? Or is that... Under That's more Barb. I'm not sure. I, I guess would the liquor license have to change if the name of the business changes? Uh, so, yeah, they, they'll have to go through all those transitional processes. And, sure. But as far as, like, that usually happens after the sale. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we don't have really have any control of the sale or anything like that. I just wasn't sure. It sounds like you're aware of it, though. Yeah, yep. They, they've come forward for some signage wanting to do... Uh, wanting to put the big orange ball on top of the sign, um, so well, is let them know the uh, you know the signage regulations and things like that. And um, it's currently a non-conforming sign, so there are some issues with that. Their ground sign, but then they had asked about the wrap around the gas pumps, the canopy, which it's pretty standard. You know, we don't really have a whole lot of restrictions as long as that. Is it going to be more lit up than it was now? Um, the the sign. That's <laughs> eye level. Yeah, spitting distance from there. You want it less lit lit up? Well, I don't want it more lit up. There was no addition of any uh, lighting from what was proposed. Okay. So. You know, when I used to live in your house, Eric, they didn't have a liquor store there. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <Why'd they? laughs> I haven't seen one in seventy six. Especially with my kids growing up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I guess any other updates? I, I guess I'll update about the code changes we had kind of went through. Uh -huh. So upon my departure, um, I have kind of organized some red lines of some potential code changes just based on discussions we've had with the public, et cetera. I'm trying to put as many of those just together just as a starting point uh, so that during my absence or right when the new uh, individual starts, uh, once they're hired, uh, they would have something to work off of, just you know, hopefully not starting over on all the conversations we've had. Um, I believe Aaron may bring forward one or two um, to the plan commission and then to the council, so you, you might see some coming up. But, um, yeah, all right, and I think not many. We're going to wait. Or it's gonna, a lot of them are going to wait until the new individual is hired. So. Mm -hmm. To clear up any confusion, mm -hmm. the Union 76 brand is owned by Phillips 66. So there you go. Look at that. So uh -huh. we got another. There we go. Get your cakes. Oh. Any other updates or any other things I can comment on, Aaron? Jared, is there any 
movement on <coughs> Churchill Street at the, the old Crystal Lounge? Crystal Lounge? I have nothing. Crystal Lounge, Public Utilities. Uh, as far as the licensing? Yeah, goes. anything moving in or? Uh, I don't know about kind of status quo. Yeah, I know that uh, I believe we're going to have a ch liquor license has been returned. The plan is uh, the owner of that property yep. is planning to come and apply to get that, have it retained with that property. Um, as far as what his exact plans are for that, I don't know. Is he going to open? His plan is. Apply if he's not going to open. Right. That was a question I asked too, and it sounded like he had his plans to open in December, last I heard. I don't have all the. Yeah. That would be too bad too. He disappeared. Mid times are changing. Um, over there as well, H.H. Hinder, we are continuing to work on a site plan with them. Um, so we have a discussion tomorrow in our DIRT um, development, review, development review team uh, to kind of go over some of our points, and then we'll reach back out to uh, the owners of H.H. Hinder to kind of work through that site plan further, um, and then Aaron will take that on. Uh, they have a temporary use to operate now, but that does expire in six months, so if they don't get their full site plan, completed within that six months which is March of next year um, you know they won't be able to operate till it gets approved so we'll try to work on that with them and make sure they they continue to operate as we don't want to see any uh, delays in their business Ty Tycor I guess over in River North they are working on bidding for infrastructure um, but we don't have a day uh, update I guess if they are going to actually start foundations or things yet this year i think it might kind of depend on the, the winter so email alex yesterday and he got i asked for an update he said we're finalizing bids should have contractors selected next week once we get that nailed down of exact time for city city staff and city council perfect it should be and it sounded like they still plan on meeting spot awesome thank you for reaching out to them is that for the houses or for the apartment uh it is for both That's all I got. All right. Anybody else have any questions? All right. Uh, we're looking for a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. By Eric. Second by Jake. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Um, aye. Against, say no. Motion carried. We're adjourned at uh, 535 p.m. Have a great night. <laughs>